dearly beloved, from my family, clergy seven, to your wonderful families, we want to wish you all very Merry Christmas. Afishapo, afio, afi. Afia ya neba ninao. Christmas is meant to be a season of joy and love. So it is my prayer that in this season, the joy of the Lord will flood your homes and wipe away the tears, pains, and the challenges that 2020 may have brought. God bless you. Wonderful people of God, please join me and my family to ascribe all praise and adoration to God for his love, protection, and sustenance throughout this year. You will bear with me that the Highway 2020 has not been easy year at all. Yet, whether it's good or bad, the eternal God has not changed in his love for you and the entire church. On behalf of the COP USA leadership and my own family, I want to take this opportunity to thank God for your lives, your love and dedication toward the church and the things of God. As we celebrate this wonderful birthday of the Prince of Peace and the new born king, we wish you and your loved ones a wonderful Christmas and a happy, happy, happy new year. Afio, Afi. Even as we celebrate this season, let us please take a brief moment to evaluate the COVID-19 guidelines and protocols, which will be presented by the National COVID Advisory Board Chairperson, Dr. Mata Amwaku Kenny. Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Martha Kenny with the Church of Pentecost USA National COVID Advisory Board. I want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and also a Happy New Year. We are so grateful to the Lord for how far he has brought us in 2020. There have been so many things that have happened that have been unexpected. And unfortunately, I know that many people have gone through grief and sorrow of various kinds. But through all of it, we thank the Lord for his strength. And we thank the Lord for his mercy and his grace. And we continue to believe in the power of God to deliver us from the pandemic and all of the consequences related to it in 2020, even as we step forward into a new year. We know that as um, we've entered into the winter season, that we've also have entered into a very deadly season when it comes to the COVID-19 pandemic. Hospitalizations across the country um, have are on the rise. ICUs are packed across the country. And unfortunately, um, the numbers continue to rise. As we are looking at Christmas tomorrow, or Christmas, which is right around the corner, we know that people are going to unfortunately continue to have social gatherings. And so it is believed that after the Christmas season, usually it takes about two to we two to three weeks to see the effects um, of social gatherings. But after the Christmas season, that there will be even a greater peak in cases and hospitalization. We want to encourage all of you because you have done such a marvelous job in being compliant um, at in-person church services. And you have performed all due diligence when it comes to following the recommendations that have been given by the church but we encourage you, please do not grow fatigued. Do not grow wary of wearing a mask. Do not grow wary, wary of practicing social distancing. Please do not grow fatigued. If there was a time in which it was be, I really needed to follow all of these guidelines and recommendations, that time is now. Continue to wear your mask when you're interacting with individuals outside of your household, whether you're at church whether you are at work, whether you're just picking up groceries, continue to wear a mask at all times outside of your home. In addition to that, please practice social distancing. I know that there is an urge to gather around with family um, and friends as we did just a year ago during the Christmas season. But in that urge, I just want to say that please exercise caution. 
um, and be cautious with everything that you are doing because that right now we've entered into this phase of the pandemic where the cases are not coming from large gatherings or large public gatherings, but the cases are really coming from small, intimate social gatherings where people feel comfortable and they let down their guard or they let down their mask. Small gatherings as small as 10. And that is where we are. The CDC has highlighted that a majority of the cases are coming from. And so we want to encourage you, please, as you have always done and have continue to exercise all caution, wear your mask and practice social distancing. And we commend you for the great work that you have already done in 2020 in the midst of this pandemic. It is not easy. It is not easy. Um, and we commend you for all that you have done and especially our leadership um, at the local level and also the COVID boards at the local level. You have done a tremendous job in making sure that in-person services are safe. In addition to that, we realize as a board that there are many, many questions regarding the COVID vaccines that have been recently approved by the FDA. A lot of questions and also a lot of misinformation as well. We as a board want to make sure that when you make the decision regarding the, the vaccine, that you are making that decision based on facts, not misinformation. The decision, of course, is ultimately up to you and it is a personal decision, but we wanna make sure that you are equipped with the truth and you are equipped with facts regarding this vaccine. And so as a result of that, on January 10th at 5 p.m., the National COVID Board will be hosting a vaccine discussion or a vaccine Q&A with an infectious disease expert who can lend her expertise and her wisdom in, um, regarding the COVID vaccine and also answer any questions that you have. This particular event will be live streamed to both on Facebook and YouTube. You have the ability to ask questions in real time. In addition to that, we will have a moderator who will, have, who will be translating um, parts of the um, discussion into Chi as well. We don't wanna leave anyone behind. We wanna make sure that everybody is able to view this program and everybody is able to walk away with some answers to burning questions that they may have about the COVID vaccine. We hope to see all of you on the evening of January 10th as you participate in this discussion forum. And to then please continue to practice caution, continue to wear your mask, practice social distancing, and practice good hand hygiene. May God richly bless you, and may the Lord continue to keep us and preserve us even as we step into, step into 2021. May God bless you. As we are all aware, COVID-19 is real. So please let us take the necessary precautions as men and women of God to ensure that we escape the dangers that this pandemic can bring to us as family and also as a church. As you are aware, we are not in ordinary times. So again, I want to plead with each and every one of you and your families and the loved ones. If it is possible, please take note of the following. One, please avoid social gathering if possible. Follow the national, regional, and local guidelines at all times. Three, make sure that our church services will not go on no longer than two hours as prescribed. Where possible, the first night watch night services in the nation can be conducted via Zoom or virtual. Finally, we know that we are in a season of giving, but in order to avoid physical contact, if you have any gifts or card for a loved one, you can please mail that, if that will be the best option in these times. Please protect yourselves, your loved ones, at all costs. Be of good cheer and understand that no matter what is going on now, the presence of the newborn king will surely see all of us through. May the Lord bless you and have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Shalom. Oh, you gave me Christ, where